Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. I hope you all are doing great. Today's video is the first video of where we are going to add the first feature in our advanced virtual assistant where we are going to add or integrate Spotify or the uh, song feature in our advanced virtual assistant Jarvis. So we are going to use Jarvis and make Jarvis play some songs with the help of the Spotify app. Now people who know what Spotify is great but people who don't know what Spotify is Spotify is basically an app where you can listen to a variety of songs and inside Spotify or in the app Spotify uh, you have different kind of features or uh, maybe depending on your mood you can listen to some songs uh, there are various other few song features like hip hop and many other things where you can listen to so if we are going to make uh, you know our virtual assistant play some song uh, this time we are not going to do uh, the song feature through YouTube which we did it in the basic feature but we are going to use uh, Spotify app uh, where we are going to tell Jarvis to open Spotify and uh, with the help of Spotify we are going to listen to some songs so play uh, make Jarvis play some songs so without wasting more time let's get straight into the video guys so everyone uh, right now I am in my uh, PyCharm. So uh, if the people don't know what um, actually happened, I'll just let you know. So I'm currently uh, were doing the project in the PyCharm. Uh, I, I was doing it in the Visual Studio, uh, but uh, my device, my laptop uh, has a problem. There's a, there was a crash in my laptop, so uh, Visual Studio is not responding, but my team and I are currently working on it. Uh, to do the best as possible but I'll be continuing in PyCharm you need not worry you need not shift from Visual Studio to PyCharm you can continue in Visual Studio itself if you started in Visual Studio there's no issue it's the same PyCharm for uh, sorry Python folder itself so there's no difference uh, well, the only thing is I'll be doing it in PyCharm uh, you can just uh, you know copy the same thing I'll be teaching you right here uh, and I'll also be giving you the source code so it'll be easier for you to just copy and paste it and make your job easier itself also so right here I'm in the same folder the same folder of our Jarvis the virtual assistant advanced virtual assistant folder itself so these are the things we did before and now we are gonna add the functions right the main functions what we are gonna add so last time we were right uh, exactly right here now what we'll be doing is we will be creating a function so that function is song and uh, spotify function right we're going to integrate our spotify or our song feature in our virtual assistant so we can put you know hashtag song you know or uh, we can make a comment and put a uh, uh, you know text so that uh, we'll get to know because we're going to add a lot of features a lot of functions so here what's going to happen is when we add so many functions if statements elif statements uh, the natural processing functions what will happen is we get we get confused right so in order to prevent that what we'll do is we just add this text so whenever you know the idea comes whenever we want to check whichever function we need to see or we need to upgrade it we can just come to that specific location and then figure it out right okay so first we'll start with the if statement so first we will put a song function itself so let's put song okay song um in command no oh, let's do one thing instead of song let's put song please okay because i'll tell you what's the why is the, i put this song please now in natural processing language what happens is whenever we are talking for example now i'm talking now suppose i say song now the virtual assistant what it does it is recognizes that natural processing language and it does the command whatever we have to provide so we don't want that to happen right we have to give a specific command for it so what we can do is we can put if song please uh, in self dot query right or uh, we can also put uh, play uh, some song yeah it will be much more comfortable play some song you ask the virtual assistant in uh, self dot query right and um, another command also we can put like we can put like could you play some song for example you have kept the virtual assistant on itself right so we can do function like uh, could uh, let's put could 
you play some some sorry just a second there's a problem in my keyboard i believe uh some song yeah in uh self dot query right in self uh dot query now you should make sure that you don't put any kind of exclamation mark or any other things like this like this these things are should not be there in the query function or the command function because if you put that also you have to tell could you play some song exclamation exclamation okay but there are chances that your virtual assistant can take instead of the exclamation mark is going to take the command exclamation exclamation so you don't want that to happen rather you want it to just you know could you play some song that, that that itself is an emotion right so now what we can do is we can uh make the virtual assistant speak we can put uh sir what song you want to play or what song song should i play right uh so the virtual assistant is asking uh, us like which song what, what song do you want to play sir right so once this is done now it has it, the virtual assistant is asking us right now what we have to do is we need to uh make the virtual assistant uh, again listen to us right so we want to put song is equal to self dot query or instead of self dot query take command self dot take command yeah and the brackets parenthesis and then after the this is done we can put a uh, web browser yeah web browser dot the browser yeah the browser dot itself is fine the browser dot open fine it's going to open and then it we can put a uh, f uh the colons we have to put h t t p s the two dots uh slashes open okay make sure you write the same command okay open dot spotify open dot spotify dot com fine and then slash search fine now it's going to it's it's going to take that url search and uh again slash and flower brackets we are going to put the song right here fine now what just happened here was basically we uh, made the virtual assistant speak then a song a uh, song command was put self dot take command then in web browser it was told to open fine and in web browser once the web browser is done the url was given correct once the url is given we can make this sleep for a few while sleep for maybe uh 13 seconds right we can make this sleep for 13 seconds now if you are wondering where did this sleep and all come from it came from a package where we have imported uh right here a time from time import sleep okay from time import sleep so we from that it has been imported fine now once this is done we can use the py uh, auto gui uh, package dot click dot click x is equal to this is the x column okay x column 1055 comma uh, y column we can put um uh, 6 one seven now if you're wondering what's this py auto gui dot click it's basically going to click on your system so what you can do is you can uh, make a command for it 
I have already done it in the home automation uh, video. So if you have not watched that video, I will leave the link or the i button uh, somewhere right here, so you can just check it out. Um, the video in that I have told you how to get this click command. Okay, so um, you guys can just check it out, and you guys can make that by auto uh, auto GUI click command. Okay. So after the Pi Auto GUI click is done, we can put speak. Uh, what we can tell playing, we can put playing, playing, just like Alexa, right? Uh, guys, just like Alexa, we, as Alexa says playing this song, we can put playing plus the song. Okay. So now I want you to understand the whole command. So we take, we put the query, it speaks. Then song is query is put self dot take command web browser dot open the URL was given so we slept it for 13 seconds then pi auto GUI click it's gonna play and we're gonna put the speak playing the song name okay so this is how we have done the first function now we'll this is the Spotify function itself then we we just do another variant of this Spotify function so we can just put Spotify right here and we can enter this and we can put an elif statement fine so we can put the inverted column uh, co uh, the single inverted and we can put play uh, in self dot query right or um, we can put again the single inverted can you play we can put can you can you play uh, or uh, in self uh, dot query right or we can put um, please play so we can put like please play so something we can put like please yeah please play itself is fine please play and in you have to make sure this is there in self uh, dot query correct and then two dots yeah now once this is done we can put a speak function we can give a speak function for the virtual assistant and we can make it speak uh, okay okay I put pk sorry okay um, here uh, you uh, here you go here you go the virtual assistant with emotions it can say here you go the speak function and then we have to put a self okay self dot query is equal to self dot query right dot replace fine and we are gonna replace it with um, the play function playing or no we just we'll put with it in uh, small letters only uh, play with nothing okay this uh, if th this means nothing this thing is right there this this means nothing fine um, again we can just you know copy the same thing and we can just put it right here um, just a second control V enter and control V right now playing play is done we can put uh, could you play with nothing and the last thing is please play right this is the last command so it's gonna replace it with nothing right now what we are going to do is again we're going to put the web browser thing itself web browser dot open now what i can do is i can just copy the same thing you guys can also do the same thing copy this and paste it right here now there's a change what we need to do uh, what i'll be just telling you right now so instead of song we need to put self dot query fine because we have taken self dot query as command 
so we have to take that okay so now we can make it sleep for uh, maybe 19 seconds oh, sorry 19 yeah 19 seconds is good enough and again we can put the pi auto GUI dot click and we can just maybe you cannot just copy this itself because it's the same thing but again uh, make sure to watch that video so you'll get a clear idea of what I'm talking about the click function the X column and the Y column so this is the X column where my uh, mouse is moving and this is the Y column okay so you'll get to know in that video I've explained it so make sure you just uh, you know watch that now we can put a print statement also you know just put a print statement we can put uh, enjoy right we can tell we can make the virtual assistant print enjoy uh, and we have to put plus reset fine once this is done once the reset function is done we can enter and we have to make it speak one more time right we have to make it speak speak uh, we can make it enjoy enjoy so and the exclamation mark so this was the whole function of the song function or the spotify function integrating spotify into virtual assistant so this is the whole thing so today's part is still this much uh, the next part will be on time and the next part also will, uh, after that is going to be the date function so there are many other functions so these this is the first two functions um, if you want to run you can just run the uh, the whole uh, program in visual studio or you've done it in pycharm or any uh, any editor which you're using uh, you can just uh, run it and you can have you know just say song please or just say play uh, this song and uh, maybe you can say play landscape by Jericho it will play that so totally up to you how you want it to be you can just run but don't tell any other command it's gonna give you error rather just tell this command itself and make sure to watch the uh, home automation video I'll leave the link in the description as well as in the uh, I button right here top so you guys can just check it out and make sure to watch all the series uh, the deep learning series the neural network and uh, make sure to uh, understand the whole concept of what we are talking about at the previous videos if you have not imported the files all these things the GUI everything make sure to watch all those things and then add the Spotify function uh, if you have already done it good you can just continue with it uh, or else you have done it in a different way you can continue no issues you can just go ahead with that but make sure to integrate everything and the source code I will leave it in the description before that Make sure to check out the video on how to access the source code. Both the video link and the source code link will be there in the description as well as the home automation and all the play playlist link will be there in the description. So it will be easier for you to go. Uh, but make sure to check out the de description first. So you'll get, uh, get an idea of everything. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, do, do consider liking it and subscribing the channel if you have already done. Uh, thank you so much. So till then stay tuned many other features are gonna come. So this was just the beginning So this is first I think the first part of the functions or the first part of the features, right? So there are many others coming in the way So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you liked it till then take care. Have a great day. Happy coding Till then guys peace out and bye